Hey, this is Boomfat here. Um, I'm doing this video uh, showing you the easiest way to get Ubuntu uh, side by side uh, of your current OS. If you want to try Ubuntu before installing, that is still possible, I believe, with this one, but I'm not sure. So um, don't hold that against me if it's not possible. Um, basically this option is if you don't have access to CD or DVD or USB or you just want, don't want to go through the hassle of that or you're sure that you want to install it anyway you can always uninstall it, it's not a problem um, like I said I'm doing this video right after the other two videos on the CD and uh, the other one is on USB so I already have a bunch of files here on my computer which you probably don't have and you don't need the only thing you're gonna do is you're gonna fire up the browser and head to ubuntu.com uh, I'm already there as you can see but it doesn't take much effort to type in right now you're gonna go to download Ubuntu right here it says if you're running Windows you can use the Ubuntu Windows installer to run Ubuntu alongside your current system okay we're going to Ubuntu Windows installer and then it says here start download Ubuntu installer for Windows well it's called Ubuntu which is basically Windows Ubuntu install. Um, here it has a couple of show me hows, but uh, I'm not going to show you that. You just, well, I'm not going to show you there on the side. You, you're going to save file. Um, I'm just going to. Okay. Then you're going to open it. You're going to open, open Ruby. Uh, I think it's going to, yeah. Uh, like I've explained in the last two videos, but if you haven't seen them, I'll explain them right now. Uh, I have a laptop monitor and a TV screen, and I'm recording my TV screen right now. But my laptop monitor is the main monitor, and I cannot set my TV screen as the main monitor in any version of Windows, except for uh, Linux, of course. Um, so that's why certain windows pop over uh, uh, to the left of me for, uh, on my... Uh, laptop on, on my laptop monitor and I have to drag them right here um, here you'll see the drives that you have and you choose the one that you want to install them most most of you probably have only one drive here or maybe two uh, I have I'm, I don't have three hard drives but I have three partitions actually I have four um, three of them host my Windows. Uh, I have one for Windows XP, one for Windows Vista, one for Windows 7. Uh, I'm not going to install it anyway, but just choose the one that you want. Uh, for sake of right now, I have Windows XP on E, so I'll just choose E. Uh, the size of the installation is basically whatever you want it to be. Um, you have it uh, 7 gigabytes, 10 gigabytes. You no, you know, you you name it. You can have it 18 gigabytes uh, on larger uh, discs. Uh, I've seen, of course, the options uh, change. You can you can choose 50 gigabytes or 100 or whatever, whichever one you want. Uh, just choose it. I'll just leave this here because I'm I'm not gonna install it. I already have it. The desktop environment and that one is something that I'll be covering in later sessions because you have. Um, I, oh, I can explain right now very quickly. Ubuntu Netbook is based on the uh, well, a netbook itself is smaller than than your average PC or laptop uh, display. So a netbook, uh, Ubuntu Netbook is already configured to fit a smaller size. Kubuntu is um, a version of Ubuntu using a different type of desktop environment, and what that means is. You have different look and feel uh, of of Ubuntu. So basically, the, the the core processes are still the same, but how it looks is different. Uh, Ubuntu uses the KDE um, desktop environment, and Ubuntu ne uh, per default uses the GNOME environment. I personally prefer the GNOME environment. I will be doing videos for Ubuntu uh, and also Xubuntu which is um, using the, I think it's the XFCE, which uh, uses less specs, so if you have an old computer, then you, you, you know, you're better off using Subuntu. 
Uh, Kubuntu Netbook is the same, of course, as Ubuntu Netbook. I skipped over that one. Uh, and Mythbuntu is a version of Ubuntu, um, or an adaptation, I should say, that allows you to create a media server. Uh, I haven't had any real experience with Mythbuntu. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna install it for sure uh, in, in future videos and mess around with it, see what it, what it can do. But it sounds very promising to me with the fact that you can run it on a, well, maybe an old system that just has a network card and a, and a big storage system, for example, and just have that on there as your media server that, that uh, streams everything to either your PlayStation 3 or, or your TV directly, probably capable in the near future. So that sounds very promising, actually. Um, then to write here languages, choose any that suit you. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it on English US, it's fine with me. Here the username, uh, choose a username that fits you. Uh, I already, I always have spoon feed uh, in all my uh, uh, distributions because that's easier for me. Uh, the password, you can choose a password now, you can choose a password later, it doesn't really matter. If you don't have a password, it will log in automatically. If you do have a password, then naturally you have to type in the password every time you log in. Uh, for accessibility, um, here you have visibility aids, which is basically the level of visibility that you lack. Um, mobility aids are, I think, the aids of the and the, uh, how do you call it? Uh, the mouse and keyboard uh, that are extra. So you can like vary uh, the the vary the aids, and then uh, you just gonna click next, and you're back here. Uh, if you click install, which I'm not gonna do, you're gonna uh, it's gonna copy some files or download some files, and then it's gonna reboot. And when you reboot, it's going in the install uh, process of Ubuntu. I'm gonna detail the install process in another video because uh, I already have installed Ubuntu, so I need to uh, get a virtual, um, virtual uh, machine up with Ubuntu running, and I'm actually going to show you in the future about virtual machines and everything because that's. Well, it sounds a lot more scary than it is probably. Um, so yeah, that's it. So now you hit install, and then away you go, and then that that that's it. Um, wow, the the DVD is still downloading. Okay, the DVD is something that I'm not gonna install. Um, but as you can see, it just takes too too long. I'm gonna pause it, and I'm gonna say. Delete. Yes, I'm gonna delete the task. Okay. Um, I'm gonna delete these files too, right here. Okay, so that's it. Now you know uh, from the three videos uh, in total how to make a CD or a DVD, how to make a USB, or just use Wubi to install uh, Ubuntu alongside your OS. Uh, I hope that's helped. Uh, I will be doing videos on for Vista and 7 also soon. So if you're running that uh, that kind of of that version of Windows, then you have, you have to wait till I, until I get around to doing it. Uh, this weekend is not going to be possible, but maybe tomorrow night. Uh, I'm not sure. Well, anyway, this is it for me. Uh, have fun with uh, installing Ubuntu and that video. Of the install process itself will be coming up soon, short, uh, soon as well.